that women have been able to go to buds since 2015. The door has been open, and I think there's only been one woman who has gotten through to a certain point where she passed some of the entrance qualifications. Because mm -hmm. that's the thing about buds is there is not going to be a change if you're black or white, if you're Asian, if you're Latino. There's not going to be a change if you're male or female. This is the test. This is a qualification. If you pass that qual, right on, man, door's open. Come on. If you pass that qual and you're female, come on, let's do it. Now, if you make it after you get through that door, that's all up to you. And it's a lot tougher than the entrance exam. And it's about pull-ups, too. You're going to be able to do 30 pull-ups when you got like 50 pounds and a rucksack on your back. So put a backpack on with 50 pounds and then go do 30 pull-ups. That's a test. If you can't pass that test, you're never going to be a SEAL. And you know why? It's not because we're saying that you have to do pull-ups and you have to be this strong. We don't want Arnold Schwarzenegger. We don't want the toughest guy in the world. But to do 30 pull-ups with 50 pounds, that means you can climb a caving ladder, which is a ladder about this wide, and it's got metal rungs. The metal rungs are like pencils. But you got to be able to climb up that thing 50 feet to get on a ship in the middle of the ocean on six-foot waves carrying 50 pounds. So can you get up 50 feet on a ladder made of pencils that's this wide in six-foot seas with a boat slamming around and you're climbing up a ship? And once you get up there, you got to be in top physical condition because once you get up there, the battle starts. So the test is 30 pull-ups with 50-pound backpack on your back. If you can't do that, male or female, black or white, Latino, Asian, you know, European, you're like me, you're a Swede. Your middle name is Thor. Right. My middle name is Thor. So if no matter who you are, what your name is, what you, whatever you got, how much you weigh, how tall you are, doesn't matter. Can you do 30 pull-ups with 50-pound backpack on? If you can't, don't even try. Don't, you're not going to be a SEAL. That's the test. And that's why it doesn't matter. So if you have someone out there who's a female who passes that first entrance, she's got to be able to do those pull-ups. If she can't do those pull-ups, she'll never be a SEAL. It's because that's the mission. It's not because we're trying to discriminate. It's not because we're trying to do male gender conforming testing that only a man can do because they can do pull ups because we have better upper body strength. So the more upper body strength, yeah, it helps. And there's a lot of women out there who can do a ton of pull ups. But how many of them want to be a seal? Mm -hmm. So the numbers are going to probably always be really low. And so the door is open since 2015. Only one female has ever even passed the first test which is only like eight pull-ups, I think. So one did eight pull-ups. It's the SEALs, man. We can't, we can't change the qualifications. you got to climb that ladder. you got to get on top of that ship in six-foot seas with 50 pounds and then do a mission. And that mission might take you six or eight hours. So you can't climb up there and be totally done and exhausted and go, oh, my God, I, can't, I just did 30 pull-ups with 50 pounds and I'm beat. I can't do anything else. I'm done. Oh, man, now, the, now it starts. Now you got eight hours of work. That's wow. why it takes six months. It takes six months to become a SEAL. That's why. Because that's just one test. I can tell you another 20 tests. <laughs> But here's a secret for you. You want to hear a secret? I do. Yes, please. So I have a reality show that I've written up, and it has day-to-day -day all the executable tasks and training and challenges to test 30 women. So we start out day one with 30 women, and we have leaderboards, and the leaderboards will be clicking off at how much they are because every test, every swim, every run, when you're doing pull-ups, you're doing sit-ups, you're doing push-ups, you're going to be paddling boats, you're going to be climbing stuff. You're going to be picking locks and breaking in. No, never mind. Don't. No, I'm just kidding. But you'll be doing, you'll be doing some really funky, really tough testing. And then there'll be disqualifications. People will be quitting along the way because this is not easy. But 30 women will start. And only one will finish. And the one female that finishes, she'll get like $100,000 in her pocket. And she'll be qualified as go to SEAL team training. You'd make it. Would you want to watch a TV show like that? Definitely would want to watch a TV show like that. You should. Some of the tests are really, really cool, too. It's like mind boggling. You'll be like, oh, my God. But it's not going to be. 
it's not like one of those ones where you have to eat a whole bunch of stuff and then you throw up. It's not one of those ones where people are getting hurt. There's nothing in here that's unsafe. I think mm -hmm. the insurance to cover us for insurance will cost like a thousand bucks because everything is like super scripted and and like from stuff that's like tested. It's mm -hmm. not dangerous. It's just like you just have to think and and put your mind into it and then also get that. Uh, you know, Abdu Abdullah, you have to show me how to pronounce that word. <laughs> alligator brain, the crocodile brain. But you have to really dig in. It's going to be tough. And it's going to be a reality show. I don't watch reality shows because I don't like the backstabbing. I don't like how they always turn into this team and teamness and all against that because it's not real. And so this is going to be like the real, like Ranger School, SEAL Team training. This will be like if you were in Forest Recon, going through Forest Recon. It's going to be teamwork and leadership and team building and helping each other out and getting through each day. It's going to be a tough. It's going to be tough. And you're going to see. It's, it's going to be, I think this is going to be the reality show that a lot of people that normally don't like reality. Mm. They're going to watch this and go, you know what? It's unlike everything I've ever seen. And it actually looks real because it's going to be real. You mentioned the team building and like the camaraderie. How much of that have, what did you learn from being in the SEALs? And can you go a little bit deeper into that part of it? Okay, well, here's maybe one of the differences between being a man or a woman growing up in America when it starts in grade school. Mm -hmm. So in grade school, all the boys are playing baseball or they're playing football, even in, at a very young age. And so they're starting to learn, understand teamwork. They're starting to understand what position they are and how that position fits into the, the bigger team. It fits into the machine. Like you're a cog right here and you're the quarterback. You're doing that and that. But, hey, there's a lineman. Without the good lineman, the quarterback never gets to throw. And then all the women are, are like, they're doing a lot of individual sports. They're not doing quite as many of the team sports. Now, it's, it's changed a lot in the last 10 or 15 years. But when I was growing up, if you were, you, you were the female in grade school even and going all the way up into high school, you could be a cheerleader. And that has to do with you know, how pretty you are or how, how you can kick your foot. And it's all individual against the rest of them to be the best. If you want to be in a play and you want to be an actress, you're up on stage going for that lead part. So it's you individually competing against everyone else. Mm -hmm. And so that's going to be the backstabbing. That's going to be all the other stuff. Who's going to win it? You're going to be that figure skater who breaks someone's leg because she wanted to be number one. And it's all aimed at for all the female sports. For the most part, it's individual skills pitted against all of your supposed teammates. Does that make sense? Yeah, we're in most, we're in most, we're in most men's sports. It's actually a team where if you're failing as an individual, you're failing the team. So you try harder to be better, to make the team better, to win the whole team. To to play your role, to help the yeah. whole team work better as yeah. a as a machine. And so automatically, men are going to learn much better uh, uh, leadership at an earlier age, and team building, and and teamwork at an earlier age, which I think is totally unfair. Does that it make a little bit of sense? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it definitely does. I mean, that's just what I, I've seen from, from my point of view. Mm -hmm. Now, when I went into the SEALs, because I was on a football team, because I was on a lacrosse team, because I've done all these different sports and I've played a lot of different positions within these sports, I understand what it's like to be the team captain, the quarterback. I also know what it means to be the, the, the lineman, a guard, or on defense or offense. I know how to, I know how to work all those different things. Now, there are a lot, there's, there's women's soccer, there's, there's, you know, a lot of other women's sports that, but there's not enough and it didn't, it's not as prevalent, it's not pushed as hard as the men's sports. So there's not as many opportunities for women to be in these sports where they really learn teamwork and they really learn that. I know I'm going to get a lot of women who are in soccer and are amazing at a professional soccer, they can yell at me. But if you really think about it, the breadth of sports for women to compete Mm -hmm. And to build that type of teamwork is about half or less than that of men. Yeah. You know, if you really think about it honestly. Yeah, it really is. And I think you're right. It is changing quite a bit. Like as far as soccer and the, w the WNBA. It's changing, uh, but I would love to see uh, more women's sports, more opportunities for women to gain that true teamwork and leadership at a grade school level. 
which I just don't think they have the opportunities. Because at grade school is when you learn it. Mm-hmm. You know, when you're in like first, second, third, fifth, or sixth grade, that's when you start learning the teamwork. And they don't have the women out there doing that as much as the boys would. Yeah. No, I totally see where you're coming from. Coming from, and I see that could be like a really cool concept for some sort of uh, programming for yeah. a show or whatever you have planned to kind of de- develop and portray those those skills and those assets that people can build, similar to the seals. Uh, so in, wanna... season, in season one, it'll be aimed at seals and special forces, rangers and marine mm-hmm. force recon. Season two is going to be going to a junior high level and okay. showing it at a at a younger level. And then season three is like, if I told you all of it, I, I can't really tell you everything, but there's a lot of mix and match. There's a lot of like age difference and how it changes over the years. And then okay. they'll also, finally, it's going to be women only for the first one. Then it'll be a little more co-ed going into some of the other, other areas. And then you see some of the differences between conditioning, between strengths and weaknesses and everything else, because everybody has strengths and weaknesses. And yeah. so you learn how to utilize teamwork to make that person's strength add to the team. And if somebody's weaker in something, they're stronger in something else. And how do you balance that? And how do you work that out? And so there'll be some other episodes that be like much greater team building exercises.